Welcome to Nursing School Explained and on this video on how to pack your clinical tools bag. Now clinical rotations usually start really early in the morning and it's very important to be prepared with all your equipment so I recommend packing everything making sure you have everything that you need the day before. And there are certain things that are essential and that you will always need and I'm not going to go over any uniform policies and shoes and hair dress code because that's specific to your school. But let's take a look here. So you definitely need to have some writing tools. I specifically recommend a pen that has many different colors so that you can quickly switch from one color to another, circle things, make exclamation mark for abnormal values and all these things and all you need is one pen. But just to be sure, have a regular pen ready as well and maybe a highlighter so that you can really highlight things that stand out to you on in your report sheet. And then maybe a Sharpie helps too in case you need to label things. Just be mindful of infection control when it comes to that. So never touch any kind of patient object with the Sharpie and then put it back in your pocket and use it on the next patient because it might be an infection control issue. Always make sure you have your pen light ready and check it. Make sure that the battery still works. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use it. Then of course you're going to need your stethoscope and I have several videos on how to go about selecting one. Then these are trauma shears. So these are a little bit bigger scissors than you might need. You might want to choose the bandage scissors that, that um, are a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to carry. But I was an ER nurse for so long, these, carry, these cut through anything and I like to put them in my cargo pocket of my pants, that way I always have them accessible. Then they also have this doll end here so that you can never cut the patient. So just make sure that you put that in towards the patient when you need, in case you need to cut something off. Then of course, always have alcohol wipes ready. You might want to bring those from home or pick up a couple in the morning from wherever it's stored at your clinical facility to have them ready because you're probably going to want to wipe your earpieces of the stethoscope and the diaphragm in between, again, for infection control purposes. And then have a little notepad ready, which is very helpful when you are taking report or just writing down some information just depending. Um, it's just nice to have. It's very compact and you can just stick it in your pocket and it's not very heavy. And then you're certainly going to need a clipboard. Um, whatever works for you. This specific one has a little bit of um, information, medical abbreviations, EKG, some blood test values, and then some normals for vital signs and a couple of different scales. Now clipboards also come in a foldable version which I think is very helpful because if you can put your papers on top here and then fold the clipboard many times it'll fit in your scrub pocket. Again you're going to have a lot of things in your pocket so just be mindful of how you're going to use it um, and where you're going to put it because you only have limited amount of pockets. All those scrubs are very comfortable but they do come with limited amount of pockets. Now a couple other things that I recommend. So this is typically what you want to carry with you at all times to be ready for patient care. Another thing, oh, one more thing, make sure you have a watch because otherwise how are you going to count the pulse or respiration? So make sure you have a functioning watch and you know how to use it if it's analog or digital. And then there are a couple other things that you might want to leave in your clinical bag in a locker or wherever you store your bags when you're there. This right here is a very nice um, uh, essentials for health assessment book. So especially if you're in your early nursing career, this helps you just a quick review of how to do certain skills and tasks and it gives you also abnormal and normal findings. It's not very big to carry and you can just leave it in your bag and have an easy quick reference. Then F.A. Davis also makes these notebooks which are super helpful. This is one is specific for med search. It has different tabs there on different body systems. It gives you different tools. Um, the pages are um, kind of laminated so you can clean them after use so that you make sure you don't take any germs home from the hospital and this is again something you can easily carry in your pocket again if you are just starting your clinicals and you might need a little bit of a, a reference guide still that you can refer to because we really can't carry big textbooks or any kind of laptops or tablets with you in the clinical setting so that's why this is nice to have. 
Another thing that's important is any kind of disinfectant wipes. Now you can probably find those in your clinical setting, but maybe you want to just take a couple out of a bottle, put them in like a Ziploc bag and carry them with you. So that way you can wipe down all your equipment before you go home. Because keep in mind, it is the clinical setting, germs are everywhere and you don't want to have germs attached to your pen or to your pen light and your stethoscope and take that stuff home with you. So that's why it's so nice to have these wipeable clipboards as well as these notes that you might have with you. Just give them a quick, quick wipe to make sure that you're not contaminating your home with any germs. And then of course you can have a pretty bag that you put it all in. So um, whatever bag that you choose, so put your own flair on it, um, whatever it is that you like um, in terms of colors. So just um, make sure that you, that you feel happy and bright the morning of clinical when you're heading out to take care of your patients and make sure that you pack the bag the night before. Of course, you always want to make sure you have enough hydration and snacks with you because we know it gets busy in clinical and you want to make sure that you keep your blood sugar up and stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching this video on clinical tools and how to pack your bag and also check out my other clinical playlist videos and I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained. Thanks for watching.